Sponsorboy Squarespace. So, scatter terrain. Bill, this episode is about scatter terrain. We need to think of something clever, something interesting, you know, something funny, uh, anything, anything. Come on, I mean, it's, I know it's not easy. Scatter terrain isn't very. Come on, think, think, Bill. Think. They're watching, Bill. They're, they're watching you right now. Think of something. Don't look at cat. Don't look at cat. Cat can't help you. Come on, think. I said, don't look at cat. Bill, just say anything. Say anything. Give me. But you just need to say something. They're watching you. They're watching you. Say something right now. Anything. Say something. Bill. Say something. <laughs> you idiot. Hello everyone, welcome to episode 58, I think. Yeah. Today I'm going to make some scatter terrain, you know. Uh, scatter terrain. Look, I know, I know. Look, listen, it's not as fun as a giant robot with four arms and a skull face. Uh, I appreciate that. You know, I understand it's not quite as interesting. Scatter terrain is that terrain that's not big terrain, but it's little terrain. It's the little bits in between, you know, like a little park bench i don't really have any scatter terrain and um i do plan on playing some games in the future and maybe even recording them so you know you'll thank me eventually so i'm not sure what sort of scatter terrain i'm gonna make most people make ruins you know little ruins or uh boxes and cargo i won't be doing anything boring like that i'm probably gonna make quite a lot and hopefully i'll fit it all into one episode but if i don't then i'll fit it into two episodes you know what's the difference if you've sent stuff to my po box I haven't received it because uh, the local post office is full of a bunch of sh and uh, they're a bit but probably quite nice people so if you sent me anything uh, it may have been sent back to you if it has let me know yeah not to put you off I'm sure the PO box is fine now it's up and running so they tell me but anyway let's make some boxes I mean scatter terrain I'm not making boxes boxes are boring I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, why is the sketchbook out? It's just making some scatter terrain, you know, it's just boxes and stuff, you know. Uh, well, firstly, I don't really have an idea what I'm going to make, so I like to sketch things out first. And secondly, I might not be making boxes. I mean, I'm definitely drawing boxes right now, but I might not be making boxes. I'm, I'm probably going to make boxes. Okay, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, they're definitely boxes. Um, but this is just one of my ideas, you know. I have a few ideas I'm going to jot down. Um, but we all need boxes, don't we? You know, boxes make cool scattered terrain, plus we stick things in them. You know, not these ones, they're going to be really small, but you know what I mean. So yeah, boxes, cargo, you know, crates, and maybe a sheet that goes over them. That's my first idea. So when I've made terrain in previous episodes, it's all been based around a kind of um, a theme, a theme of this town on this alien planet called uh, Respite. Uh, now this town is like a frontier town and it's very dusty and rusty and decrepit. Uh, and I think it needs a well. Now this town reuses rocket parts and spaceship parts because there's you know limited resources. And I imagine there's like a rocket cone used as a roof over this well. I feel that might be quite interesting. Um, so that's what that is there, I think. Uh, but, but this, this pen um, is actually a watercolor pen that I filled with Indian ink and some water. And it makes a very cool kind of gray shading pen. Um, yeah, there you go. Just a little extra bonus bill there for you. So in the town of Respite, I imagine there are a lot of bounties put on, you know, certain rusters' heads or just people in general, you know, or, or, the, or a place where you need to put down your birthday party invitation, you know, but I, I think a message board would be quite a cool thing to have in town. I'm thinking maybe, you know, not just 
messages, maybe somewhere to put your little trophy skull, you know, just to show off how many, you know, exotic and interesting aliens you've murdered. You can stick it on the local town. You know, it's that kind of town, really. So my fourth idea for a piece of scattered terrain is, uh, well, I do get a lot of comments saying, well, how do people get food in Respite? Well, I imagine they grow it, but they, you know, I don't imagine they would grow it in the desert. Uh, so they'd have these weird little eco dome things where they could grow whatever, like a greenhouse, essentially. But, you know, all domey and sci-fi, you know, because domes look cooler than greenhouses. Uh, obviously, don't tell your granddad that. Uh, but yeah, I imagine domes uh, where they grow food, weird exotic food, and they control the humidity and temperature, things like that. And maybe it's automated somehow. I don't know, sci-fi food domes. So there we go. That's four ideas for scattered terrain. I'll try and make as many as I can this episode. Uh, maybe it'd be a two-parter, you know, maybe. So this episode is sponsored by Squarespace. Now, if you've ever wanted to make a website and you're not really sure how to do it, Squarespace is the place to go. Look, you get provided with hundreds of templates like these just here, and they're all pretty cool designs, I'll give them that. And uh, say you want to make a website about pickles. Look, oh, there we go. There's a pickle website. You can literally open this up, change the names. There you go. You have a pickle website. So I decided to make a website of my own for bill making stuff. Now, I've made plenty of websites in the past, and I have to say that Squarespace is the easiest and most intuitive website build I've ever used. It's uh, so easy to get great effect. I mean, look at this. This took me like five minutes. Uh, so if you want to make a website, click on the link down below. There is a sale going on. Uh, there you go. So I'm going to make the well first because I think that's the most exciting to me. Not that I get excited by wells. I mean, maybe if I was like in a desert, I would get quiet, but not in that way. You know what I mean? Not the way that your dad gets excited about things. This is an adhesive floor tile. Um, you can buy them from the pound shop, four in a pack. Uh, you probably need quite a few to cover your whole kitchen floor. They come with little sticky bits at the bottom uh, if you peel that paper, but I don't think I'm going to bother using that. And we're going to use some bricks. Uh, if you don't remember how to make bricks, There we go, some bricks for you. Uh, this is a lid that I'm gonna use as the skeleton of the well. Uh, something I can build around, it just makes it a bit easier. Plus I have a lot of lids. I don't wanna use them up. So this is a brand new glue gun that I received in a building kit from Real Terrain Hobbies. It's a nice big box for the stuff. I forgot to film myself open it. But yeah, I'll talk about it next episode. Uh, cool stuff in there. I will act surprised. So I said earlier, I wanted to make a nose cone, kind of like a spacecraft nose cone to act as the roof on my well. And I'm gonna use this old plastic bauble and this old plastic Easter egg thing, uh, combine them together to make a weird kind of really un-aerodynamic uh, nose cone. What's the, what's the opposite of aerodynamic? aero undynamic I don't know. And then we're gonna use some plastic spoons because they have that kind of cool ridge pattern there, makes it look like metal girders. Oh, there's the uh, glue gun again. It's just haunting me. I feel bad for not talking. I will talk about it next episode. Like I said, uh, Neil, if you're watching, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, this is like a teaser to your box set. Uh, but anyway, next time. 
So we're going to be spray painting this model later, so we need to seal that EVA foam. Now I like to use Mod Podge and some black cheap acrylic paint. You could use PVA glue and black paint. Now someone says that PVA glue reactivates with water, so does Mod Podge. You frauds. So at this point I decided to paint right inside the well and inside the nose cone because there's no way I'm getting inside there once this thing is stuck together. Just some random bits, um, basically, you know, stuff in my bits box that looks kind of mechanical. I'm looking for something that I can stick on the side of the well to look like, almost like a pump system. Uh, I think this is some kind of little engine, like a little mini engine, like a, a really small car. You know, we do have small cars in Europe, actually, uh, thinking about it. Unless you live around here where you have a giant Range Rover, because, uh, you know, you can see countryside, you know, either side of the road. So obviously you need some all-terrain vehicle, especially when you're dropping your kids off at school. So here we go. Here is some kind of weird mechanical pump system for the well. So for this rocket cone roof, we need to make it look more coney. So I found this coney lid, but the thing is it looks kind of too much like a lid. So I want to disguise it with some EVA foam. Anything you want to hide or disguise, just use some EVA foam, you know, like this, and pretend it's a metal plate. So this is green garden wire. Uh, it's got a nice rubber coat on it. You use it to tie plants up, apparently, if they've been naughty in the garden. So I hear, I'm, I'm not a gardener, to be honest, I, I don't really know, but I use it as wires for mechanical things. So to make sure this well doesn't get ostracized by the other buildings in town, we need to add some rivets. Now I've got this little tub full of one millimeter rivets. Now it's running low, it may not look like it, but to me, it's running low. So I'm gonna show you how I make them. This is a butter tub bottom. The rest of it's been used, uh, probably for rivets. And this is a one millimeter hole punch. Now basically you just need to do this. And there you go, unlimited rivets. Well, not actually unlimited, nothing's unlimited in this world. Um, you know, everything's limited, basically. Uh, but you, a lot of rivets, okay. You can make a lot of rivets for basically no money. Hello, I'm just popping in there to say thank you everyone for subscribing. I got my 100,000 subscriber milestone i got a plaque um you know there uh, so i just want to thank everyone on the team really you know thank you cameraman bill what good job good job thank the uh, the editor you know editor bill you know thanks bill yeah thanks you too i think that's everyone uh yeah and myself obviously um uh yeah that's i think that's everyone um yeah thanks for subscribing and sticking by me it still to this day amazes me that you not want to watch this stuff. It really does. Um, it's really, really strange. Anyway, 100,000 subs. Thanks. Let's get back to making some uh, boxes. I mean, I mean cargo. Oh, that was, I ruined that. Now these are Jenga pieces. Whenever I go to a charity shop or a thrift store, I always look for Jenga sets because, you know, the little pieces of wood are actually really useful. So that takes care of the boxy shaped things. Now I need some kind of barrels or vases or you know, round containers. Uh, I might actually try and make some uh, barrels using old felt tip pens. So I'm gonna use EVA foam to block up the ends of these barrels. I probably should use something more rigid like a uh, card or something like that, uh, but it's all the way over there. And uh, th you know, this was on the table. I'm sure it'll be fine. There we go, a barrel, sort of, a very wonky barrel, but you know, it'll look fine later. So what would a bill build be without a bead in a build, bill? Uh, basically we're gonna use some wooden beads to make some uh, gas canisters. Now these are old water pistol parts. These are the little stoppers that stop the uh, water from leaking, never works. And uh, we're gonna use these as the, the nozzles, the, the lids, the top bits. And I just noticed these, these could be useful.
And there we go, like a little propane gas tank. Uh, that looks good to me. I'm not sure what this thing is. I was just experimenting with bits of plastic. Um, you know, some sort of sci-fi container. Generic sci-fi container, there you go. Now let's make some more generic sci-fi containers. We're gonna use some of these things uh, and we're just gonna stick them in there like that. There you go, another generic sci-fi container. That's the good thing about sci-fi, you know, it could be anything. So like the vases and the generic sci-fi containers, I want to make a few boxes and crates and ammo crates and, you know, luggage things. Uh, I'm just going to experiment with EVA foam and wood and, and these things, these are uh, window things that I, I tend to use every episode. There you go. So I have a set of these uh, craft scissors and the only one that seems useful to me is this one. Uh, this makes a cool little sci-fi pattern. So I'm thinking we can use this with some EVA foam. And I'm pretty happy with the result. That looks pretty good to me. I think he's my favorite. So I don't have any wooden crates. And uh, I know this is the future, you know, and it's a sci-fi build, but I like wooden crates and I've always wanted to make some. So I think these Jenga pieces and these coffee stirrers are kind of made for each other. Look, three on top, two on the side, and uh, yeah, like perfect fit. So using a drawing pin, you can just uh, prick a few holes in there, you know, along the edge to make it look like it's been nailed closed. Uh, and look at that, lovely, lovely little crate. And it's time for assembly. This is the funnest part of the build. Um, actually, no, I like making that crate. But this is the second funnest part of the build where you just get to stick all the little barrels and things on a little, uh, you know, laminate floor tile. Not necessarily a laminate floor tile, but that's what I'm sticking it on. Um, but yeah, it's fun, look. And there we go. Now, if you don't want to spend ages making crates and barrels, you could always do the whole, uh, you know, cargo covered in like a canvas cover, you know, something like that I'm going to show you here. Basically, you just need the wooden shapes. You don't need any details. And if anyone has kids, you'll know what this is. This is a wet wipe, but what you want to do is stick it in the air and cover it until it becomes a uh, dry wipe. Uh, and this is basically your tarp that's going to go over the top. So use a bit of that black Mod Podge. Now this dry wipe will drink up this Mod Podge and black paint, but you know, just keep painting it, keep pushing down into the corners and uh, get some nice creases in there. And there you go, the easy way to make cargo. If you don't want to spend hour upon hour, you know, making little crates and barrels, almost as if you don't want to see your family that often, which, which you know, obviously I do, obviously. So it's time to paint. Uh, we're going to use this uh, rusty color as an undercoat for or the or most most things, to be honest with you. I'm probably even going to paint the cargo in this rusty undercoat. Now, before you start shouting at the screen, yes, I'm painting the cargo with this rusty wash and I'm probably going to paint the, uh, you know, the canvas sheets with this rusty wash just because it's an aesthetic thing in town. You know, if, if it's not undercoated the same way, it's all going to look a bit out of place. Uh, I'm probably going to paint over it all, so don't worry. Anyway, painting time with Bill is usually story time with Bill. Now, there's not really much I can say about cargo crates and, you know, 
cargo crates. Uh, but this well, I do have a little story about the well. Um, I do have something. So this is the only well in the town of Respite. It's the only place where you can get drinkable water. Uh, and it was there long before the town of Respite was even formed. The locals don't really know of the water source. They know it comes from deep down underground, but they don't, you know, they don't really know much more than that. They know that it won't kill them and they know that they can drink it. And that's pretty much all they really need to know. But there are rumors uh, that if you start drinking from the local well, you tend to have weird dreams. You have weird dreams of creatures consuming you, you know, being eaten by things. You know, it could be being eaten by your parents or, you know, your your loved ones or your wife. And, you know, you just, you just tend to have dreams where you're being eaten, which is, you know, it's kind of a bit disturbing for most people, but they, they tend to get used to it. The strange thing is you only have these dreams when you're in town. Like if you leave town and you stop drinking from the well, the dreams disappear. You don't ever have them again. People in town have put two and two together. They realize that it's something to do with the water from the well, but they, they tend to forget childhood memories from time to time. They, they will forget the name of their first pet or their favorite meal. Sometimes what an old sibling would look like, you know, things like that. Uh, but it's a small price to pay for drinkable water in a place like this. There are a few in town that want to explore the water source. Uh, they, they believe there is a creature down there secreting a toxin into the water, which once drunk uh, provides a psychic connection. And they, they think this creature is basically eating their dreams and their memories. The local mayor of Respite won't let anyone go down there. Uh, it's, it's strictly out of bounds. Now there is a conspiracy theory going around that the mayor and this creature in the well has an agreement, you know, uh, a trade, water for old useless memories. And this fits in well with the unofficial town motto, you know, come to Respite, make new memories. And that's the story of the Respite town well. Now let's make some crusted, shall we? And that is how you make crusted for all you people that want to make crusted and for all you people that ask me how to make crusted every single episode. So once this crusted dries, I'm probably going to chuck a brown oil wash on here, uh, but I don't think I recorded it uh, because my card is acting a bit funny. My Yeah, I did record it. And there we go. I guess that was part one of my Scatter Terrain video series. There's only going to be two parts, not much of it series but yeah i couldn't get it all done in one episode i definitely want to make those little farm dome things and the notice board i got lots of heads for some reason sitting in the box over there now let me know if you don't mind seeing another scatter terrain episode next because that's what you're going to get let's be honest uh, but just let me know make me feel better about it say that's all right bill we don't mind you can make some more scatter terrain videos yeah we really like it like that you know something like that i will criticize myself i don't like the the top of the well here I think I might take that off at some point, but that's easily changed. I can change that for something else. The rest of it is fine. But uh, other than that, I hope you enjoyed it. I mean, I really enjoyed making little boxes. That was quite fun. It took me quite a while. And you know, if anyone does make little boxes like that or makes little piles using any of these, oh, I don't know if they're techniques, using the ways that I did it, uh, let me know on Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram. You can send me a picture, all that stuff. Uh, and that's it, I think. So stick around for the glamour shots coming up right now. Now, he always does this. He thinks it's Editor Bill. Stick around for the glamour shots coming up right now. Now. Mm -hmm.
So there we go, scatter terrain. Now the next episode will probably be more scatter terrain because I want to make that, uh, you know, the sci-fi food dome and the notice board. So if you're interested in seeing me make that, uh, subscribe and all that, and you know, watch watch the next episode. Uh, but anyway, if you enjoyed this, let me know. Uh, everyone needs scatter terrain. We all need scatter terrain. I know my town was sorely missing some scatter terrain, so I made some and I filmed it and I made you watch it. I I'm really sorry. But anyway, patrons, thank you for sticking by me um, even when I'm not making really cool giant monsters and robots uh, and just making boring crates and barrels uh, I hope you enjoy it anyway uh, like I enjoy you